Zero Contact AC Line Tester When electricity is not properly handled, it results in electrical shock with a nasty experience. Which is why safety must come first, when working with electricity or electrical devices. In order to avoid injury, prior to starting work on an electrical box, such as an AC main switchboard or a power supply, you must first verify that there is no AC voltage. It is really hard to completely isolate a device from the main supply. There are several options available in the market, and they range in price, but if you don't want to spend a lot, this non-contact AC voltage detector is the right choice for you. After watching this video, you should be able to make your own AC tester for less than a dollar. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 3. NPN, Transistor, BC547, 1 Kilo Ohm Resistor, 1 200 Ohm Resistor, 100 Kilo Ohm Resistor, 1 Mega Ohm Resistor, Copper Coil, 1 Red LED, 1 Yellow LED, 9 Volt Battery, PP3 Battery Connector, On Off, Rocker Switch, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED from high current and voltage. When an AC current passes through a wire, then it generates a variable magnetic flux around the wire. We will use a copper coil, to receive this electromagnetic radiation. When we put a copper coil near an AC line, then coil receives the electromagnetic waves, and convert it into voltage. Coil is connected to the base of transistor 1. This voltage will turn on the transistor 1, transistor 1 will turn on the transistor 2, and transistor 2 will turn on the transistor 3, and finally LED will glow up. Three transistors are used to amplify the received signal from the copper coil. When there is no AC power in the wire then transistors will turn off, and LED will not glow. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer, now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 1 mega ohm resistor.
This is NPN transistor, and BC547 is its model number. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will solder the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the NPN transistor. Now we will solder the yellow LED. Now we will solder the 200 ohm resistor. Now we will solder the NPN transistor. Now we will make the hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. This is a copper wire. Scratch the coated layer with a sandpaper or a blade. Give this coil a spiral shape. Now we will solder the copper coil on the PCB. Now we will connect the battery, and test our project. We need to flow the current from a wire. When we put our circuit near this wire yellow LED will glow. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.